Spinal stenosis is a condition found in the human body in about 20% of the population on average. Spinal stenosis literally means that the canal is too small for the nerves to travel through. It creates a problem in terms of the transmission of nerve signals. Now this can be due to how we're born. Some people are born with big feet, little feet, average size feet. Persons can be born with big canals, little canals, and average size spinal canals. Over time, these canals will narrow with age, such as a drain pipe in your backyard, narrowing over time, doing be filled with debris, such as leaves or sticks, whatever accumulates over time. When that canal gets too narrow, it'll lead to problems in some people. These problems can lead to conditions of pain, especially pain in the back or down the legs or arms, depending where this narrowing or stenosis is found. The clinical presentation or the patient's symptoms will be back pain and or leg pain, typically worse with standing and walking and relieved by sitting or bending over. Classically, people will use a shopping cart to lean on or always be looking for the next seat to go to to sit down to unload their spine or to open it up by bending forward, almost like a slinky. Things that can mimic this are things that narrow the blood vessels as well. With age, our spinal canal narrows. With age, our blood vessels can narrow. And that narrowing can lead to pain in the legs due to lack of blood supply to those muscles. So people, when they exercise or use their legs to walk, those muscles will fatigue, giving them pain in the legs, a numbing or tingling or sensation of giving out of those legs. What differentiates blood supply problems from spine problems, however, is that the patient can stop and rest, allowing those muscles to catch up with their blood supply and then continue walking. Whereas patients with spinal stenosis will have to bend over or sit. Occasionally, some people are doubly blessed in terms of they have both arterial disease and nerve disease leading to a combined issue, which has to be differentiated in the course of a workup.